Hey everybody, Jeff with Covet the Camper. I'm back in the shop. I've got the camper parked out front and it's time to replace the roof on the truck camper. So we're doing a, a full redeck and a whole new roof membrane on the top. Uh, and you'll see how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use a, uh, a 50 year product called Crazy Seal. And um, it is going on top of all new decking, which will be Baltic birch. As you know, on a lot of these RVs, they, they use, you know, inferior products, inferior materials. So um, I'm gonna replace all of the decking, which I believe on this RV is uh, probably three eighths or, or potentially five eighths um, plywood uh, or OSB. Sometimes they use OSB on these and sometimes they used um, plywood, but regardless, the glue was not waterproof so uh, or water resistant. Um, and well, as you know, these things leak no matter how, how uh, diligent you are about putting sealant on them. So I've got to uh, get all of the vents, all of the air conditioner, the solar panel, uh, and the TV antenna taken off the roof and all the trim, the, uh, the old luggage rack, which I'm not going to put back on. I'm going to, I'm going to do a different rack system on the top. Um, all that stuff has to come off first so we can get all of the wood decking, uh, taken off and make any repairs, any water damage repairs that we have to make, uh, to any of the substructure. So, you know, any of the, uh, the rafters uh, that go across, the beams that go across, uh, replace with either composite or with Baltic birch plywood. So I'm hoping that I can get, um, you know, at, at least three eighths inch Baltic birch plywood, um, potentially half inch. I'm, I'm trying to kind of reduce the weight a little bit too. So. We'll see how this thing's, uh, how it goes. I'm gonna get started ripping the stuff off the roof and uh, make sure I know exactly what thickness of plywood I need to go and purchase to replace it. So let's get started. It's gonna be quite the project. All right, well, here we are on the roof. So you can see I've got the, the emergency egress above the cab over, or the uh, bed area. Uh, I've got the TV antenna. The wiring, which, well, the TV antenna is no longer a TV antenna. It's my cell phone booster antenna. That's got to come off all the wiring uh, where I put it on before. Refrigerator vent. The air conditioner. Got this vent here, which is just a manual vent over the kitchen. My solar panel. And... Uh, bathroom vent which is a, a hangs powered vent all of the the uh, plumbing cover <clears throat> there and the, there's a plumbing cover back in this corner that has to, the, all those have to come off as well as the luggage rack that's all coming off because i'm putting a different rack system on this roof so we can uh you know potentially in the future haul our kayaks and stuff so i'm gonna get started I'm going to tear this ceiling off and then get a measurement of the thickness of this, uh, this decking material. I guess I should mention why I'm going to replace this roof. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. One, it's a 2003 camper. And uh, although I've done the roof coating, it's held up pretty well. Uh, there's a couple of spots where the coating is starting to wear off over there. But, you know, it's a 2003 in this... Um, EPDM roof is, you know, kind of at the end of its life. And we've got some, uh, some rot, some rot in the decking material right here, all the way across to here. You can see that this is all rotten. See how that just squishes down. So this whole corner, this whole corner is rotten out. There's a, a small rotted area. Oop, I dropped my glasses. Small rotted area in this corner. You can see there. There's a small rotted area in this corner. And in the front corner.
starting right here. This is all soft. You can see how that's moving. So all this corner is soft. And I knew this was like this. It, this corner and the back corner was actually already starting to rot out when I bought the truck camper uh, back in 2010. But I just resealed everything and uh, it hasn't gotten worse, but it just needs to be redone. This rack's gonna come off and I'm gonna do a full, a full rack across the top. And uh, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for replacement on the solar panel yet, but I don't think this aluminum one's going back up. I'll probably do a couple of uh, flexible, you know, the flat panels. So get, uh, you know, a few hundred watts of solar up here. I think I can fit four, 400 watts of solar up here. But we'll figure that out when the time comes. All right, well, got my scraper tools and my utility knife. And I'm gonna get back up there and scrape that ceiling off around where that cable goes through, get my measurement for the thickness of the wood, and then uh, probably go down and, and pick that stuff up and find out, figure out how much I need and then go down and pick that up. Uh, I've already got my roof coating. It is, yeah, it's all sitting right back there, right there. I'll tell you a little bit more uh, about the crazy seal. Uh, in uh, future videos, but I'm going to keep this video kind of short. So today I'm just going to get uh, show you what I'm doing and then just get up there and, and figure out what uh, what type of plywood I need to get and then go grab that. So I'm going to do that right now. And then uh, in the next video, we'll be tearing stuff off the roof, which uh, in it's been about 100 and anywhere between 105 and 113 degrees here in Northern California in the past a uh, few days. So next week we're getting a little bit of a cool down. So I'll probably wait until next week to get up there and actually do the, you know, the bulk of the work, which is tearing everything off and, and getting it prepped for the new decking. So, but, uh, I don't have a whole lot of time. Got to get the truck back on the camp, uh, the camper back on the truck. Um, cause I've got some out of town jobs that I'm doing pretty soon. So, and I'm going to need it. And then potentially, we're thinking about selling it. So haven't really made up my mind on that. Sell the sell the camper and selling the truck, most likely, and, and getting an all new rig together, um, travel trailer and, and then something to pull it with. Um, but we'll figure that out down the road. So more details on that later. Well, I figured that since I'm replacing all this, I would just use the utility knife and cut. And it is oriented strand board under there. So it's probably three eighths. I'm gonna rip all this stuff up. There's no turning back now. All right, so I cut a little section out uh, where the solar panel pre-wire was. And it is just under three eighths of an inch. It's actually, it's actually quarter inch. So they used quarter inch oriented strand board. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So we're gonna have to use quarter inch, but we're going Baltic birch, so it's way stronger. I'm gonna cut the video short because it's already 103 degrees. Still got quite a bit to do but it's just too hot. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get in the truck and I'm gonna go down and see if I can grab the quarter inch Baltic birch and uh, a few other supplies and get started on this thing. So anyway, that's the project. <laughs> Keep watching for uh, updates and we'll see you guys on the next video. Later.